So here we are in the last tutorial of the Lazarus tutorial series and we're learning how to use Game Maker Studio 2. You can see with our learning goal the objective of creating a game which instances change in response to objects that surrounding them. We have learned all the sub skills that we need to actually do that and this video is going to contain stuff which we've learned already. You can see we've created Lazarus, we've created the boxes, we have the power box buttons, we have levels which um, increase in difficulty and we have background images and a splash screen. And this video is going to finish off the specifications by dealing with all the sound. So now we're adding sounds and we've done this a couple of times now in our previous videos so there shouldn't be too much that you need to actually follow with this. So I'm just going to run through it really quickly. I'm going to create the sounds and basically we're going to make sounds we're going to make a background sound we're going to make a sound for the moving a sound when he's squished a sound when boxes are crushed um, a sound when the boxes hit the walls um, or the floor and a sound when you press the button so the first one we're going to make is a background sound so I'm just going to load in um, lots of resources and we have wall squish music there we are open and play it yep it works now it's a oh what was it it was a WAV file wasn't it no it's an mp3 so it's an mp3 so it's a compressed non-streamed file I'm going to call this SND background now I'm just going to put all the sound files in first create that and create sound and the next one we're going to add in is the movement sound so move nets away file so it's not compressed so uncompressed SND move just hear it it works um, ooh, now did I make sound no you don't do the looping here you did the looping later on All right create sound move SND um, squished this time and he's actually getting squished so switch sound, it's a wave, so it's uncompressed, done, close, create a new sound, um, SND, this one's going to be when the boxes get crushed, oh, right there, and load the crush sound, open, test it, yep, and then create a new sound, when the boxes hit the wall or hit the floor um, sound wall test it uh, it's uncompressed cool done and the last one I need to do is when he presses the button so sound button so I'm going here which is button and I'm going to press play. There we are. And close it up. And now let's go into our objects and work through each one of these. So first off, the sound background, we want that to work in the control object as our background normally does. So control object and let's see. Sound. So we need to in create. We want to add sound. Play audio. Um, let's let's put this at the very top. So upon creation of control, play audio, and the sound is going to be sound. Oh, actually no, I won't put it in. We won't put it in here because don't forget our opening screen doesn't actually have that so let's go object title and put in the create of object title okay sound comes in here and we want to play sound background and it's looped right yeah done now we're moving so that's object of Lazarus right um, so we want this to happen when object Lazarus right is created because you press the button it creates that object so let's go 
create and let's just add the sound and the sound is move okay close object Lazarus jump right is the same add event create object sound right sound move okay object Lazarus left I'll add create object a sound Lazarus left is a move and also jump left add sound and create in here move so let's just test those to see if they do what we think we want them to do So that's all the different moves are oh, actually in object free and I'm going to have it at the so let's have it both at a create but also because that sound will only happen once when he's created sound move we also want it to happen at the end of every animation because the next one he's going to jump again right here so let's move um, the room up here and see if that's castle I want you to go into here thank you castle no I don't Okay, so room three, let's see if it does what I want. Perfect, that's wonderfully annoying, isn't it? So, move you back down here now. I don't want to set the room, no. Okay, so we've done all the movement ones now. Now we need to do the squished ones. So, object Lazarus squished. When animation ends, it changes into that room. So, again, upon creation, I need to play the sound of object Lazarus being squished. Sound squished. Okay, not looping. Done. And now, when boxes are crushed. Mm. So when boxes are crushed, that's the destroy sound. So that's the falling objects. So let's start with stone and destroy instance sound and sound crushed. Right, I'm going to copy this because it needs to not with object and stone, but metal as well paste and card paste awesome so I'm going to crush it any of those done is that stone metal when yep paste plays a sound of crush no no yes and paste there we go that's metal wood uh, wood will only crushes uh, doesn't it? Um, so paste. Oh yeah, and so that's those sounds of them crushing. Now when it hits the wall, it's the sound of actu it actually coming to rest. So let's listen to that sound again. Is that? No, wait, let's see. Yeah. So I actually want that in all the situations where this changes into um, a normal object or no, not, not next falling 
when all the falling ones change into stationary ones. So, all the other places, so when it's the wall, change instance. So, the wall change instance is to come in here and play the audio of wall. And again, I'm going to copy you because uh, he does it on stone as well, too. Paste. Okay, card and metal, it doesn't. But with metal falling, then no. Yes. Paste. And stone. Paste. And wall. Wood falling, card, destroy, object metal, paste. So basically when the box comes in contact with either um, a wall or another box, it's going to make one of two sounds. One's going to be the sound of, um, of One's going to be the sound of stopping, and the other one's going to be the sound of crushing. The last one I need to do is card, which basically is going to stop at everything. So, do and So that's all those. Now that just leaves me with the button sound. So now the button isn't actually going to be in the button. The button is going to have to be when we test whether the object is by. And when the object is beside, it then does what? It then plays the message, doesn't it? So let's go into object message. So um, actually, let's just do it in Lazarus. Lazarus stand. Um, at the end step, you're checking if there's an object at the side, if the button's at the side. So if, instead of just creating, before we create the message in here, I'm just gonna add, play the sound of button. And play the sound of button. And so, they're all done. And, okay. So they're all done, I'll leave you to do the testing. And, well done, we've got our playing Lazarus. There we go, Lazarus is now completed. So, on top of the knowledge we've already developed in our previous two video series, in this video series we have focused on, um, we have learnt about um, the add of, or the event of step event. We've learnt about the actions of if any object, choose, if instance exists, exit game, set global variable. We have also understood the concept of sprite size and origin, um, interpolating, room size, grid size, solid objects, and flagged variables. So now we should be able to create a game in which the instances in the game change in response to the objects around them. And now your challenge is to take the knowledge that you've learned in this and the previous tutorial series and go and enhance the game by making changes to its design.